Hello everyone, Ninja here. The Clan Game Rewards for October 2021 have been announced, so this video will be a quick overview of what rewards are on offer. Before I get into the details of the rewards, a few days back the Clash of Clans team announced some changes to the Clan Game tasks that will come into effect for this Clan Games. If you're already familiar with these changes or just want to get to the reward details, I've set up chapters for this video so you can skip ahead to the next chapter. Some rebalancing of tasks is being introduced, starting from this month's clan games to make them feel less grindy. This is to help make the clan games more enjoyable and help motivate more players to reach the 4000 point cap so their clan unlocks the higher reward tiers as well as claiming the extra reward. First up, all tasks have been rebalanced so they can be completed in 1-5 to five attacks with a maximum time limit of 24 hours. Previously, some challenges could take upwards of 10 attacks to complete and last up to 48 hours. Next, most tasks can be completed in a single attack. This is to ensure the challenges on the clan board refresh more frequently due to the task being completed quicker. This should help avoid some of the less desirable tasks remaining on the board until someone cycles them out by accepting them and cancelling them, although that will still be a viable strategy for refreshing tasks. Next. Nearly all tasks have had their points per battle values increased, with the guideline for builder based tasks being 100 to 150 points per attack, and the home village tasks being 150 to 300 points per attack. As many tasks are now worth more points, the boosted task list is being removed. These were the tasks highlighted in gold and offered double their usual points for that particular clan games. Although the monthly boosted tasks have been removed, there still may be some boosted points on special occasions. Previously, we've seen boosted builder base tasks to celebrate an anniversary of the builder base, so I imagine we may see something similar in the future. Finally, the cost to revive expired tasks has been reduced across the board. This is the option to pay gems when a task has expired to extend it and keep your existing progress towards it. The costs will now range between 5 to 20 gems instead of 10 to 60 gems for 4. Anyway, back to looking at this month's rewards. The lower 3 tiers are the usual mix of magic potions, resources and gems. The main rewards are in tiers 5 and 6 which is a rune of builder gold, a book of building and a rune of elixir. If your clan unlocks all 6 tiers and you score 4000 points, you can claim all of those. There is one reward that shows both Dark Elixir and a Potion. This doesn't mean that you'll get both as a reward, it means that Town Hall 6 players who can't store Dark Elixir will be offered the Potion, and players that are Town Hall 7 upwards will be offered the Dark Elixir reward. When you view them in game, they'll be adjusted to show what your village will receive based on the Town Hall level. Resources have a percentage displayed as the value. This is the percentage of your treasury, so the exact amount you'll receive will vary based on town hall level and level of your clan. You'll notice some of the rewards have a golden colour for the quantity. This is the item in that tier that has the most valuable gem value if you were to sell that reward. This tier has two rewards indicated, as this is the next most valuable reward to select if you're eligible for the bonus reward by getting 4000 points. We can see at the top here, the value for selling the rewards for each tier is 320 gems. If I press the Show Sell Value button, this will display the sell value in gems of the rewards that can be sold. This can be useful if you're looking at which rewards to sell for gems. Press Show Items to return back to the item view. These games will run until the 28th of October, at which point you can collect the rewards for the tiers your clan has unlocked. The rewards can be claimed for 7 days after the end of clan games, so it may be worth saving them until the start of November once the season bank loot has been paid out. That's it from me. The link to the Clash Ninja Clan Games card is in the description. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Links to Twitter and Discord are also in the description, and don't forget to use code NINJA. Thanks for watching.